What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up dedicated IP in app platform for your app on DigitalOcean. Sammy can even approve of that. What do you say? Let's check it out, shall we? All right, let's get started setting up dedicated IP in app platform. In this video, I'm gonna use the United States Aquariums app that I built. It's only fitting that I have my Georgia Aquarium shirt on. There are two ways to set up dedicated IP. Both are done in the settings. You can enable it through a button click or you can set it up in your app spec. And I'm gonna show you both ways in just a second. Dedicated IP, what is it? Well, it's great for a few things, right? First one being security. Group rules to restrict access to protected resources based on IP addresses. Restricting API access based on source IP. Those are pretty big things, right? And then we also have other different ways you can use dedicated IP, configuring IP-based rate limits and third-party APIs, and also restricting API key access based on IP address. We would love to know what your use case is. So let's head over to the settings in App Platform. We are going to click on settings. And this is an app-based uh, enablement. It's an app-based setting. So we're going to go right down here to where it says dedicated egress IP addresses. It says no egress IPs have been assigned. Enable dedicated egress IPs for $25 a month to allow a secure connection between your app and non-digital ocean systems. So what does that mean? That means that you'll have a dedicated IP from whatever you are building out to the world and back again. So we're going to make sure that we edit this and we are going to add dedicated egress IPs. All right, we have our two dedicated IPs right here. Perfect. Now, let's test them to see how they work. Let's go in the console. And this is just like a regular shell that's built into App Console, App Platform. We can test this. We can just run curl if config.me. And then we can see the IP address that comes back. It's going to be the first one. So 67205178.53. Let's go back over here. 67205178.53. Perfect. We know this is working. We have the IP coming back for us. We're in good shape. So let's get rid of these IPs, and I'll show you how to set this up directly in the app spec. All right, let's set up dedicated IP in app spec. So we're still in our settings. We are going to scroll down to app spec right here. We are gonna click edit. We are gonna look inside this file. We already have egress right here. So what we're gonna do is get rid of those curly braces. We are going to type, type dedicated IP. We are going to save it. We can see that the upload has been successful and we are going to get another deployment. When you add dedicated IP or release dedicated IP, you're gonna get an automatic deployment. All right, looks like our deploy went live. Everything is good. We are still in the settings tab. Let's scroll down and we can see that both of our IPs were created. We configured that in the app spec, which is great. And then we can test it in the console to see if we return this first IP address. So let's go into console. Let's do curl ifconfig.me and we should get that first IP back. 64227221246422272124. 64227221246. Perfect. We know it is working. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it educational and insightful. Let us know in the comments how you're using dedicated IP in your apps. Sammy wants to know too. Peace.